video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm just going to show you how you can create a forest from a tree, a single tree and then obviously you can duplicate it. Now first thing to do and this aids the whole duplication process layer a new new layer. Once you've done that then you can go to the filter and render and tree. Now it's not an instantaneous filter or plugin uh, it's going to take a few seconds so once it appears right now the key thing here and you can go for obviously for a number of trees but uh, I'm just going to go for one which is the stylized tree and I'm going to have randomized shapes that's the key thing there so randomized shapes and it's a pity actually there's not more randomization features It'd be really great if you could sort of randomize the size etc you can't as well as maybe have a, a random base tree type so you could sort of anyway that doesn't exist so you've got randomized shape so click OK takes a few seconds to process and there you've got the initial tree and what you can do now is and I'm just going to move it now you notice it's just it's about now I could bring put a guide there maybe that will be easier create a new guide so just a new guide And I want it horizontal. And what I'm going to do is just move it down. Now I just want to basically move it to that point there. So I can just basically see where the tree is. I mean I know it's obviously very, very close to the bottom. Now once you've actually done that, what you can do is then just move it along. So it just follows that guideline just approximately there. And now what you can do is tree. Apply it again now that just extends out the layer so you can move it a bit further along and again tree now you can see it's randomized so it's not exactly the same as the other tree and you can move it as little or as much as you want and i'm just going to create another tree and maybe further along tree and of course you can actually if you want to you can obviously have it upper or lower I'm just going to move those down or maybe up. Doesn't really matter too much. The next tree will be slightly different position to the other one. But once you've actually got them all in one complete, it won't matter too much. As long as it's basically in the same sort of. And of course, you can layer it anyway, and that's the next stage. So filter tree. And I'm just going to drag it along that way. So basically you can just go all the way along and then add another tree, which would approximately going to be filter just there. And I think that's enough. So right, I've got my trees. And what you can do then, you've got the Alt key. And you can just go like that. They're all on the same layer. And you can move the other one down as well. Obviously, don't have them floating in the air. But of course you could if you want. <laughs> Um, and then you can drag them along that way. Now you can always resize them. Don't have to keep them consistently the same size. So you can resize. And again, you can add some more trees. Maybe those ones could be at the back because they're obviously smaller. So you might just want to put those at the back. So drag those to the back. You can see them adding a... Now, of course, as they're in the back and you... You might want to then apply, say, like a blur, so Gaussian blur. Click OK. And you've got some blurred trees in the background. Again, you can add a couple of layers of maybe blurred trees. Build up a darker forest. Right. And, of course, you can actually then go to maybe some of the slightly closer there maybe that one and again apply blur maybe not the same strength of blur maybe a little less click OK now that's one that's slightly different slightly further back but uh, not as far back as the smaller trees and then you've got now the front ones again you can then just add some more and so on and so on and there you've got it you've got a fairly dense forest in a few 
minutes or so reworking and of course you can apply other effects maybe color effects just to subtly change the tree tree design and of course then if you want to add a backdrop you can always add a quick I'm just going to go blue or maybe a gradient and then just add a nice blue background for the sky anyway that's it hope you found this of interest